Greetings, Internet, and welcome back for another episode of Fun Size. Absolutely. For today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at another beverage. This one is one of the, uh, the more common, the more modern iterations of the flavored beverages from one Dr. Pepper. For today's offering, if it wasn't evidenced by the title right down here, by hello, we're going to be taking a look at Dr. Pepper, Strawberries, and Cream. Which thankfully has nothing to do with the little lad who likes berries and cream. God, that was a weird commercial. Anyway, so as stated previously, we're going to be taking a look at these, which I think are supposed to be some kind of an informal tie-in to the Valentine's Day season. You know, the Valentine's season, which is coming up real quick. At least as of the recording of this video, we've got about two weeks, I think. It's the 14th, right? Yeah, yeah, it's January. Not What the heck did I just say? February 14th each year. So, first things first, we're going to take a look at the box. And it's nothing really too special when it comes to Dr. Pepper, especially with their more modern offerings, especially their and cream variety. The only thing that's really different, obviously, is the big honkin' strawberry right here that's like dipping down into the cream down here and making like little ripples, like a pebble onto a pond or any body of water. So, um, uh, do, do, do. what would I rate the actual box itself? What would I rate this? Well, I do like the colors, and this shade of pink really does kind of complement the usual, I want to say, kind of rusty red, kind of bloody rusty red color that Dr. Pepper usually has. And they did a good job rendering the strawberry, you know, making it look kind of art deco with the line right here, making it look almost 3D, even though it clearly isn't. If I were still giving the packaging a rating like I used to do way back when, I would probably give this about a 7. But, you know, we don't really... we're not really too focused on the packaging. But if I were, like I said, giving those ratings, I would give it that rating alone just for this strawberry right here. Okay, so let's see. Obviously, I got a 12-pack because I couldn't find, like, the single bottles of this stuff for some odd reason. They, I couldn't even find a 2-liter. They didn't have, like, the little bottles, they didn't have the 2-liters, they didn't have, like, those uh, the little 6-packs of cans that are only, like, this big and that wide. They only had these big 12-packs of normal-sized cans. And we've been on the hunt for these for a little bit, like, uh, last shopping trip or two, when we first found out that these were a thing. So, it's not been that long. Not nearly as long as the escapades, as the nonsense that I had to go through finding those friggin' mesquite barbecue crunch taters that I've spoken of a few videos back. Thankfully it wasn't nearly that hard because, well, with those, you had to go to specific Dollar General stores to find them. And that's the thing that really frustrated me about those. But I went over that in that video, but just to... Just because it's so annoying, I have to say it again. Why? Why couldn't they have, like, every Dollar General carry the same two flavors and not just, you know, these Dollar Generals carry original flavor, these Dollar Generals carry original flavor, and Mesquite Barbecue. It's, it's stupid. It's very frustrating and stupid that I had to go all that way, but regardless, I got those chips, I tried those chips, and now we're here to talk about Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crack open the case. Well, no, no, before I do that, let's check the nutrition facts on the box itself, and we'll see if they're any different than what's on the cans Spoiler, I haven't actually looked at the cans themselves yet, but spoiler, more than likely it's going to be the same. So nutrition facts are 12 servings per container. Okay, that's different because, you know, 12 cans and each serving is one can. 
And just the amount of calories per your one can serving, because it doesn't actually say like the net weight or any of that nonsense, is uh, 150. Let's see, anything else of note? Anything of note? Let's check the caffeine. Okay, the uh, caffeine content is 41 milligrams per 12 fluid ounces, which is must, must, much less than the Panera Bread lemonades that they've had. Which I just recently found out that they have like a bogus amount of friggin' caffeine in those things. Thank you to Matt Pat, the film theorist, the food theorist, the game theorist, the theorist, the YouTube theorist, that is Matt Pat. Matthew Patrick, I believe is his actual name. But anyway, thanks to him, now I'm a little bit even more caffeine conscious about the drinks that I have than I was before. So, muchas gracias, Matt Pat, <laughs> for putting that worry in my head. Okay, anyway, now to actually get to this. Oh, and apparently the box and cans are recyclable. Alright, so we go ahead and we pop open the seal. Ow. Okay, we try it again. Got it. Mm. We tear open the end of the box. The perforation was actually pretty good on this one. It's usually about a 50-50 shot. Whether or not I'm able to do that and get it in one shot, or if I'm going to do that and rip the entire half of the box off. For whatever reason, it just started sliding off of my laptop. Which, for some dumb reason... Oh, that's why. My table was kind of wonky. Okay. Fixed the table. Go ahead and put that a little farther up on the laptop so that it's a bit more evenly weighted. Anyway, now let's go ahead and take a look at the can and see how well it represents the artwork on the box itself. And I gotta say, it does a fairly good job. And I like the can version more just because it's got that shine to it. That glisten. The way that the light hits it makes it practically glow. And I'm completely covering the strawberry. There we go. Alright. So now we check the nutrition facts on the can itself. Which, like I said, is probably going to be almost exactly the same as the box. But we'll see. Nutrition facts are as follows. Serving size, one can, and the amount of calories per serving are 150, same, same. And uh, let's see, what does it say? Yep, caffeine content, 41 milligrams per 12 fluid ounces. And this can contains 12 fluid ounces, or what was that, 355 milliliters? Okay, so with all of that hullabaloo and hubbub out of the way, let's go ahead and crack open the can because we can. And I'll give you all the first whiff. It smells good, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. I haven't smelled it yet. So. Ooh. Ooh, I really like that. Like, the very first scent that hits your nose is that strawberry. And, like, right on the... Right on the coattails of that, like right behind it comes that cream, like that uh, Dr. Pepper and cream soda kind of smell. But it's mostly strawberry. You know, I forgot to do a little thing. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go and grab a glass so we can see what that looks like outside of the can. One moment. Una momentation. See y'all. Ta-da. Got my nice, fancy-looking glass. So let's get a look at the color of that Dr. Pepper, shall we? Mostly doing this because certain Dr. Peppers like that cherry Dr. Pepper have kind of a reddish hue to them. Don't know if y'all have ever noticed that. So let's see, I know I've got a little flashlight. Aha! My little flashlight. And it actually works. 
Now, let's go ahead and get a look and see if that's got that reddish hue. And a little bit. It's got a little bit of a red tint to it. So, here we go. So far, it's okay. Like the Dr. Pepper and cream soda portion of it are as good as they usually are. But there's something about the strawberry that's kind of throwing me off. Maybe they used artificial strawberry flavor in this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it, it doesn't taste bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a little bit weird. And given a lot of the drinks and foods that I've had over the course of these fun size videos, these fun size recordings, that's saying something. But I still say I like it. And that's not just because I had, you know, bought a full 12 pack and now I've got to share it with my housemates. And if it were just down to me drinking this myself, I would still be okay with that. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it's not bad. It's a little weird. You gotta kind of get over that curve of the strawberry and the cream soda. You know, kind of intermingling and kind of meshing and like kind of not quite hitting the mark together as they should. But it's alright. So if y'all can find yourselves a box, a bottle, or just a can of this stuff, I say go for it, if you're a fan of strawberries and cream. On that note, I'm going to wrap this up here. So thank you all so very much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. If you like what you've seen here today, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to be notified of future uploads once you are subscribed. You'll be glad you did. And to get yourself subscribed, I've done the favor of putting that jack-o'-lantern in whichever corner it pops up in. It makes it that much easier for y'all. And feel free to share my content with your friends if you think they'll like them. And if you're not sure, heck, share it anyway. You could be surprised. And with all of that out of the way, it's your old pal Oxley Mason saying, Cowabunga, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.